Life trial compared sacubitril valsartan with valsartan in patients with advanced heart failure and a reduced left ventricular ejection fraction and recent New York Heart Association class 4 symptoms. As of now, the use of sacubitril valsartan is not endorsed by practice guidelines in NYHA class 4 heart failure with reduced LVEF because of limited clinical data in that group of patients. Live trial showed that sacubitril valsartan did not reduce anti-proBNP or clinical outcomes among patients with advanced HFREF and comorbidities. It was a double-blind randomized clinical trial on 335 patients with advanced heart failure. The trial was stopped early in March 2020 owing to COVID-19 risk. The Paradigm HF trial of sacubitril valsartan had less than 1% patients with NYHA class 4 symptoms. That was the rationale behind starting the LIFE trial. LIFE was a 24-week prospective multi-center double-blind double dummy active comparator trial. It checked safety, efficacy and tolerability of sacubitril valsartan with valsartan in patients with advanced HFREF. Plan was to randomize 400 patients though it had to be stopped early because of COVID-19 concerns. Elevated BNP or anti-proBNP and one or more objective finding of advanced heart failure were needed for enrollment in addition to NYHA class 4 symptoms and LVE of 35% or less. 72 eligible patients were not able to tolerate sacubitril valsartan 100 mg per day during the short run-in period and 49 patients discontinued sacubitril valsartan during the 24 weeks of the trial. Sacubitril valsartan did not improve the clinical composite of number of days alive outside the hospital and free from heart failure events. There was a statistically significant increase in non-life-threatening hyperkalemia in the sacubitril valsartan arm. No other safety concerns were observed in the LIFE trial. Thus, the LIFE trial did not show a statistically significant difference between sacubitril valsartan and valsartan alone in patients with chronic advanced HFREF. The primary outcome evaluated in the trial was area under the curve for the proportional change in the ratio of anti-proBNP to baseline. This was also statistically not significant with p equal to 0.45. First set of journal references. One more journal reference. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video. Kindly press the bell icon after that for getting all updates.